Greetings, Gabriel here and welcome to another unboxing video. For today I managed to get my hands on something that I never opened on this channel before. Something very similar but not quite. What I'm talking about is the Pirates of the Caribbean Pocket Models. We opened a lot of Star Wars and we're still gonna open some more. But this is the first time why I have some Pirates of the Caribbean Pocket Models. I managed to get this from a guy, his collection, some models, I have no idea what's in it. Oh, pieces are falling out of the box. A small French flag, we'll have a look at that. Also, he did send some more cards besides that box full of models. So let's go. And here we are, the Pirates of the Caribbean Pocket Models. And this is the Pirates of the Cursed Sea, Rise of the Fiends. I do have a small collection of this, uh, so I did start uh, at the same time with the Star Wars, but not that many of them. So this will gonna be great addition to my collection. So let's get and start with, let's just see what's in the box. Let's just go from there and we'll see what we have here. The small dice that we get with Star Wars as well. I have a box full of them. An empty booster box from Pirates of the Mysterious Islands, okay, so it's different sets, not just uh, the Cursed Sea, and this is at Ocean's Edge, okay, and this is Rise of the Fiends, okay, and we have the first ship here, which is Jaguar, or how do you pronounce it, uh, I'll need to find its car to find its stats, uh, we have the small flag that we lost earlier, not sure if it goes with it or not. What else we have here? Okay, Ventura. This is a tiny ship from the flag. Very nice. Okay, we have a bigger ship here, which is HMS Forge. Very nice, a pretty ship. Very cool, big one. <laughs> bigger than the other ones. Ooh, we have a crab, a sea fiend, a monster. Uh, I think I saw its card in the stacks here, so we'll find out its name in a moment once we get there. Let's just put that aside. Oh, this is full of ships. I like that. Ooh, what do we have here? The bloody blade. Okay. Very nice indeed. This is the first time I see a ship like this. I wonder, is this the special edition that's supposed to come with this box? Doesn't says, all it says, it comes with ship, six ships plus one special edition bonus ship. We'll find out that which one is that in a moment, hopefully. What else we have here? Uh, we have Mercure, a French ship. I like that design, very stylish. What else we have here? Uh, Bazana, a small Spanish ship. I think this is the fast way to get them out of the box. Hopefully nothing will break. Uh, don't break. Okay, everything is out. And then one more small flag. Okay, that's the box empty. I'll put that aside. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Maman Brigade, okay, a pirate ship. I think that's how you pronounce it, not 100% sure. We have another smaller tombstone, an American ship. Very cute, we'll put that there. Glaive, a French ship. I can tell already from the decoration on the sails. But it seems only the French do that. Uh, we have another HMS Galloway. Uh, just from the name, I'll say this is a British ship. And I presume that this it's its flag. There we go. Perfect. And we have a pirate ship here, Chikiniki. Very cool. And we have another Seeking. And a... Okay, I think this is British again. Yep. And we have a big pirate one. Fool's Hope. Very nice indeed. 
very nice ships yeah it had a lot more here than just that box as this is more than six ships and we have a lot of cards here so they all came from the booster packs and stuff okay let's just put those aside I swear most of the ships they're supposed to come with a flag on top of the sail as well not just the one at the back but we'll find out let me just open this cellar tape off those there we go that's the first batch and we're already starting here with this uh, monster I'm so used to calling those sea kings I watched too much one piece okay El Toro a Titan under the Spanish flag okay very nice and then we have here the Fool's Hope very nice oh number one from the set um, Eternal if this ship succeeds at the boarding part choose two of the following I mean okay very nice indeed uh, we have another one so those are all the ones from the already used ship the bloody blade very nice and then we have the jaguar the blade oh. oh yeah most of the flags are still here so they didn't put those on the sails they're very fidgetly and they fall off easily the tombstone The Maman Brigitte, Brid Bridget, and we have the Jikiniki, and uh, the HM's Galloway, that's just one card, followed by Marker. And we have here a couple of islands, a rift, a focal bank. Oh, this one's falls off. Not sure, everything is plastic. Those are hardened cardboard and if they don't stay on their screw that easily once they fall off, they're off. They're not gonna go back. Another island with whirlpool, a rift, Sargasso Sea, and an island. Oh, this one has an effect. Nice. Same for this one, another island very nice indeed so those are the ones in the box all the couple of islands and the ships and let's see what's in the other stack yeah, a bit harder to open this one there we go uh, hold on so we have more of the unmade ships here. The Sea King, we seen that earlier. And Ventura and the Bazana. Cool. So those are the ships. And here we have uh, the treasures and the loot and the crew. An explorer. Another explorer, a houseman, a captain, Gus Schultz, not sure if I pronounce that properly, and Captain Arazur, Ralph David, Shipwright. Uh, we have here a screw engine, okay, a unique treasure. Captain Nemo, ooh. Yep. Nautilus, very nice. So that's in, they did make the ship for him as well, very nice. I didn't saw that one here, so nope. Uh, another shipwright, another one, firefox specialist, oh and we have some more ships here, unmade ones, the USS Egan, Egan, 
you know, some of those names are a bit harder for me. Let's put those on with popularity. So it's a four mast ship. Very nice. So it should be the same size as this one. As the HMS Forge. Very nice indeed. Now the next one we have is HMS Auckland. A smaller ship. And then we have Ooh. Mobilis. Okay. It's a submarine. I was expecting Nautilius, but I'll take it. Very nice indeed. And all that's left. It's a checklist for Fins of Fire. HM Forge, Explorer. So he did mark off the ones he has. Okay, the uh, rule books and information. Yeah, keywords. And all the extra stuff you get, how to build the ships. A checklist for mysterious islands. Again, how to build, more rules. Um, checklist for at Ocean's Edge. Very nice. That's complete. And more. Build instructions. Very nice. And there we go. That was the Pirates of the Caribbean Pocket models. Very nice models indeed. I will add all of them to my collection. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video today. Please hit that like and subscribe button as that will help my channel a lot. Otherwise, stay safe. And until I see you next time, 